Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Nolan coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Chris Lodge, Chief Operating Officer and Interim CEO of United Fiber and Data. Welcome, Chris. Welcome back, I should say, to JSA TV. Thank you. Thank you for having me and good morning. For our viewers who aren't familiar with UFD, could you tell us a little bit about the company? Sure. Uh, UFD was uh, founded uh, seven and a half years ago now, I think it's been, uh, with a couple uh, premises in mind. And, uh, you know, the primary being, uh, what can we do that complements assets that were already out there? Uh, uh, was a B was to be different. We didn't want to be just another telecom carrier infrastructure provider. We wanted to be different and really uh, focus on uh, you know solutions for folks, uh, and the other carriers and uh, uh, enterprises out there, and and not just be a typical fifty year old telecom. <laughs> well, UFD, it's been a, a busy few months. Uh, you recently announced your new optical wavelength service offerings, lit services. So can you tell us more about these new services and the impact? Yes. Uh, so going into uh, that everybody's been experiencing, you know, the COVID-19 uh, dilemma and pandemic, uh, just as we were going into it, we had launched uh, lit services uh, between uh, New York City, northern New Jersey, down to our endpoint in Ashburn today. Uh, that is now up, live, and operational, and we're actually working on adding a few more nodes as we speak. Uh, we received great uh, reception from uh, our colleagues in the field. Uh, again, using that diverse path that we have uh, of the I-95 Route 1 corridor. Uh, between that and with the new, brand, being that it's brand new fiber, uh, we're getting phenomenal uh, speeds on it. Uh, to quote one of our customers, uh, quote unquote, that's hot. Uh, in meaning in in terms of the latency between that we're uh, that we're seeing, so we're we're seeing some great success with that. Great forward momentum for sure. So you mentioned a little bit about COVID nineteen and and the impact with with UFD. So can we dive a little deeper um, and talk about the impact uh, not only with the company but your customers and the way you operate? Uh, well, I think uh, like everybody out there, the way we operate has changed and may forever change, uh, you know, being so we like everybody else or, or most people that we've talked to, we've done, we're doing our part. Uh, UFD's, uh, you know, like all working from home, uh, you know, where we can, uh, you know, some of our field personnel to keep our operations going or, you know, still in the field doing our part with social distancing and, uh, you know, keeping, uh, slowing the spread, if you will. I think that's the uh, the buzzword out there. Um, so, you know, from that standpoint, I think it's changed. Uh, we, uh, in Pennsylvania, where we're, most of us are headquartered, are just starting to come back to life out there, you know, in uh, society. So we'll see how it goes uh, and, and what, what the permanent outlook looks like. From a customer standpoint, uh, I think what we've seen, in, and a lot of people have probably seen, is the patterns just slightly shifting. Uh, what the, the capacity has gone up, obviously, uh, but it hasn't been to the detriment, I think, that some were uh, fearing out there. Uh, it's just where the push and the pull is in terms of traffic, uh, residential versus commercial and things like that. That's changed. Uh, wavelength uh, offering, going back to our optical gear, has become very popular because, you know, you can turn it up uh, in, in a very quick and uh, quick fashion. It doesn't have the, the cycles of, uh, you know, dark fiber. Uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, accessibility times and things like that. So we, we've seen a, a great uptick in that, uh, uh, that offering. So uh, for us, and we're very limited and focused on our products. It's, uh, you know, we have our dark fiber in a couple flavors, and we have uh, a lid offering in a 10 gig and 100 gig, uh, you know, wavelength. Uh, and, you know, so it allows us to be very focused on those elements. As you mentioned, you know, we are in different times, but but looking forward to, the rest of 2020 and maybe over the next year or two, what uh, does UFD have its eyes set on? So we uh, are doing a couple little, uh, you know, projects, if you will, uh, some pre-engineering uh, to look at uh, al uh, other alternative paths out of some of these markets uh, and capitalize on that, uh, what we call that backbone or that spine that we already have uh, in diverse connectivity. So uh, we're looking at some alternatives out of Secaucus. 
uh, and Philadelphia and markets like that uh, back to this westerly path uh, to, to leverage on it because we, uh, we do believe uh, there's the demand. And then with these uh, changing times, uh, you know, those, uh, those areas will become more and more prevalent to, uh, you know, getting that traffic up to this uh, diverse path. Where can our viewers go to learn more about your services that you talked about with us today and, and geographically diverse fiber network? Where can we go? Uh, our website, ufd.com, uh, or any of our social media. Uh, uh, we're uh, very active at LinkedIn, uh, you know, with, with the business, uh, you know, components of it. Uh, they would be the, the two most popular uh, to find us. And then obviously, like everything from the website, you can link to any of the social media uh, pages that we have. Well, thank you, Chris. We, we so appreciate your time with us and sharing with us today. And thanks for joining us. Thank you. Stay safe. <laughs> And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.